And we definitely want to get straight out to <coughs> and on your side's Brittany Muller live in Seminole County um, with an important interview. Yeah, Brittany, we understand there was a, a Coast Guard water rescue out that way. There's a water rescue going on for two people right now. We do know from Gulf, Gulfport Fire Rescue that three people went kayaking, two flipped over, and two were just within the past several minutes. Two people were found on a sailboat. So Gulfport Fire Rescue is working to access those people now. Joining me right now is Captain Jim. Thank you so much for joining us. What can you tell me about this rescue right now? Uh, so right now we're in waiting stage for a marine unit to get to the vessel that supposedly they reported on with the ghost Coast Guard unit that came in. So uh, we're just waiting at this moment. And very scary to have two people in storm conditions out, three yeah. people actually, but two were missing. We just saw the Coast Guard hovering over the water looking for those people. Can you kind of explain what is happening with the water rescue? Sure. Basically, we can't dispatch any marine units because of the conditions right now. Um, so the best we were able to get is Coast Guard. Luckily, they were out and about, so they did a flyby for us. Uh, we got a description from one of the guys that made it back to shore. The Coast Guard was able to find them on the other unit, which is a sailboat. And right now we're just waiting to go out there. But they did match the description that he said his friends were dressed in, and they're waving and flashing lights. So this is a good, good outcome. And uh, as soon as we get a Marine unit ready, we'll head out there and get to them. And one of those kayakers, they went out fishing with three people in total. Lucas is joining me now. Thank you so much. We're glad that you're safe and your friends are safe. Tell me a little bit about what was happening and when you guys went out fish, uh, fishing on your kayaks. Well, basically, stupid decision. Just wanted to go have a fun time and no rain, right? So we went out and had somebody capsize a kayak. And once that happened, it, everything just went downhill from there. Buddy tried to get on another kayak and they started going out to current and I tried to grab them back. I started going out to current so I decided to hightail it back here and thankfully the shore there was, there was people at the shore waiting for me to help and yeah, that's just a crazy situation. Not doing this again for sure. Really a nightmare, I'm sure. Yeah. But when you saw the helicopter hovering over the water, did you have hope that your friends were going to be found? I was really thinking the worst, but was hoping for the best. I saw the paramedic pulled out the stretcher, so I didn't know what to think at that point, but someone told me that they found him on a sailboat out there that I was actually flashing lights with a long time ago, and yeah, hopefully they're all right and they're on the boat. So you won't be doing this anytime soon? <laughs> Definitely not. Not without contacting someone first. <laughs> Especially during a storm, right? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Great. We're glad that you're safe. We're glad that your friends are safe. And Captain Jim, what's your overall message right now? We do know that local authorities are still urging people that there could be a lull in the storm, but it's yes. still passing through our state. That's true. So when we give you the messages to stay out of the water, stay inside, stay in safe places, please use those messages and take them seriously. Another thing also, if you are going to take the chance to go on the water, wear a life vest. Uh, these victims were not wearing a life vest, and unfortunately, if this is, this is them, which we're pretty sure they are, they were extremely lucky. Extremely lucky. All three people, again, are safe. One person is here. You just heard from him. Two other people are on a sailboat. Fire Rescue cannot access them right now, but of course, we'll stay on top of this and keep you updated. For now, I'm sending it back to you all. Wow, great work, Brittany Muller. Um, we are happy to hear that all three of those people are doing well. Yeah, as, as he said, they're very, very lucky. Oh, yeah. Very lucky, all three yeah. of them.